it's the 17th of November. Last weekend we went to the mall, we went to Costco and we bought a bunch of fluids for me, for my liquid diet. Chicken broth, for something savory for me. Um, during my liquid diet, I'm gonna be on a 1000 calorie per day liquid diet. And um, my target is that um, protein should be 50 to 70 grams. I'm learning more and more and more about eating healthy uh, in, a, in a different kind of way. And I take multivitamins, I also take um, probiotic, but um, I'm gonna get biotin because my hair right now could use biotin. This is the length of my dreadlocks. There's a spot right here where I have always lost hair. Here first, before my dreadlock years, um, which is one of the reasons I was encouraged to have dreadlocks was because I would relax my hair, try to have nice and soft, long hair, but it always started falling off in the spot. Sometimes it would be two here and a small spot here, but the main one is here, always. And sometimes my friends would tease me and say, you lie on your back too much. And um, it's not on my back. Where if you were lying on your back, it would be like this. It's short, this is. And then this keeps going. Bothers me. So I'm not sure if it's a, like a condition or what. It's not that big of a problem that, you know, to stop the presses. But hopefully biotin will help. My iron is on the lower side. And then during my PMS and my periods, it becomes lower than it should be. You know what I mean? You have to take not ferrous, ferro something, something sulfate, not the, the one that ends with sulfate. Apparently that um, it's hard for the body to absorb that one. And it causes um, constipation, which is probably the one that I was given by the doctor back in the day when twice I was given um, iron pills back in South Africa and both times. I threw them down the toilet. No pun intended because I wasn't going to the toilet when I was taking them. I have shakes that I bought at Costco. It was like $25 for 18. So that's more than a dollar each. 30 grams of protein and I think 150 average, uh, more or less 150 calories per box chocolate flavor. I'm not a big fan of chocolate flavor things. However, I have a bunch of yogurt and other things and none of those things are chocolate. So I don't want everything to taste monotone. I don't want to get bored. I'll be taking fluids for two weeks flat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can imagine I'm trying to add variety. So I'm going to get a protein shake and it won't be chocolate because we already have chocolate flavor thing and all those yogurts. So I am considering getting unflavored ones. They're usually 20 to 30 grams. They say 60 sometimes, but that's usual for two scoops. Those things are expensive and I'm not trying to keep going to the shop buying the same thing. It's just like, I don't want it to be stressful. So I'll take one scoop and the milk and split pea soup and soups like that. So those, there's protein in split pea soups, maybe 10 to 15, I'm not sure, grams. So. I think I'll be good. That's why I'm saying I wish I'd known this because I would have made sure that my meals are jam-packed in protein. I mean, I probably have been getting decent amount of protein anyway because I like chicken and I try to have balanced meals. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. There's this aloe, aloe vera drink that I started drinking a few months ago. It lasted me more than a month, maybe two months or so. I was taking half a serving, half a cup and it's like zero calories probably. And it doesn't taste bad and it's good for so many things. I think I'm gonna get it. It's about seven to eight dollars per half a gallon, I think, is, is the thing that you get. So that's what we're gonna get, just for me. And it's liquid, so just to add to the liquids that I'm gonna be taking, I'm trying to make it not boring, the diet. I've never been on a liquid diet before. I fasted up to a week, whereby I wouldn't eat from six until six. That's different though. I'm kind of struggling with the right iron. There's so many kinds and a lot of them are the wrong one. The one with, that end with sulfate. That's the one that's not easy to absorb. So I might end up going to Kmart for that. I saw it on the Kmart website, but they said it's available in a store that's 25 minutes away. I don't know if I want to drive an hour for that. We'll see.
I guess I could order it online and have them delivered to my house. You know, do you know I didn't think about that? Because I never pay for shipping, generally, as a person. Please. I usually have them delivered to the store and then go to the store and pick up whatever I need. Uh, there's a Kmart less than two miles, less than five miles away from me. I'll go there because there's also a bank and I need to do some banking. There's also a TJ Maxx. So maybe there's a handbag in there for me. I think that's it for now.